This clip is brought to you by SaveWithConrad.com. Meltzer would say, the WWF needs major changes, and I'm not confident anybody really knows what the changes need to be because the problems aren't as simple as those that killed WCW or that those changes will be coming. Maintaining and going back the over 30 crowd goes against every way of thinking in that company. And I don't think anyone really knows what has lost the audience. I don't buy it's less emphasis on the matches. Although the long-term survival, that is part of the package that needs to change. Most of the shows themselves have contained good wrestling, at least by WWF standards. So while people complain about matches, there are problems like overdone ref bumps and a fear that without a gimmick finish, people will think it's a flat finish, but ultimately kills people taking wins and losses seriously, which hurts. Uh, or which leads to far reaching problems. The writing, particularly the long-term writing is pretty bad. And the writers being the focal characters causes more problem. I think the long-term soap opera storylines, mainly the ones involving the top characters far more than the in-ring product is what builds numbers. So let's take a timeout right there. I think everybody agrees with that matches are important, but we've got to have stakes. We've got to tell a story. People have to care. And it feels like for whatever reason, Jim, they just were not caring about this invasion, which seemed like our fantasy for decades, but an execution, it just fell flat. Well, I tell you, I think that the, uh, it was a, a gimmick finished smorgasbord a buffet of ref bumps and feet on the ropes and all these things. Uh, and when you have the talents that have a voice, that's what you can find. Because they're going to try to, if they're going to do the honors, they want to do the honors where they have an out. It's not enough to have a great match, uh, to have a, a match that has, uh, some parody as far as who's on offense, the most or on defense, the most or whatever. Uh, it's, it's, it's just somewhere along the way, the fact that a talent could convince the old man or Pat Patterson or somebody else that they need more gimmicks in the match or more an ounce in the match. I've got to be protected shows me that their talents have the wrong perspective. And what is, what does the business mean Conrad seriously here when you can't lose another guy's finish? Yeah. What, I don't, I don't, you know what I mean? I don't get that. So if I'm going to, if I'm a wrestler or pray to God that, that thank God that never happened, uh, to any degree, uh, it's, uh, I don't know. I, I, I don't, I just don't understand the reasoning behind it. And it's it. And, and AEW, for example, I don't know how we had some unique finishes on Saturday night in Minneapolis at full gear, but we had winners and losers. That's right. And the talents that, that, that dropped the falls, I never heard one person and that maybe they did whisper to their buddy. I can't believe I'm doing this. I don't, I don't think that ever happened, but I heard nobody complaining, bitching and moaning. The, 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 I always tell all of us that man, it's three seconds that, for that to take place. How long's your match? Well, we got 20 minutes. Okay. Then you got 19 minutes and 57 seconds to kick ass. That's how I look at it. And then the, the finish has got to, got to be led right into perfect and fit like a glove. And I thought those guys did that, but our finishes became a gimmick is too many gimmick finishes and guys felt uncomfortable, even losing to, uh, another talents, a uh, finish move. Can you imagine the revolt? It would be if people had a problem at, at this show or shows lead subsequently into this show, if uh, putting Austin over with a stunner, he beat everybody with a stunner. That's how now that is how it's supposed to work. If you, you, you win with your, you win with your finish. So anyway, it, it was a very troubling times. We were seen to be philosophically disjointed somewhat too many cooks in the kitchen. Maybe I don't know. I don't know exact reasons. I do know this, that angle was cut too short. It had a great future. If, uh, uh, and you had two leagues, you had a big enough roster to, to stock the shells of two shows and because of frustrations and politics and things of that nature, or so it seemed to me, the angle was said, okay, let's just get out of this deal. 
and uh, and that caused a lot of issues we'll talk about here today. Hey, hey, it's Conrad Thompson. Thanks for checking out the podcast here on YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell so you get a notice anytime we upload some new content. And go save yourself some money right now. If you're in a 30-year loan or you have credit card debt, it's not a matter of if I can save you money. It's a matter of how much. Find out right now for free at SaveWithConrad.com.